Hero Strange is one villain that never shows up, appears up very little. At all in Batman stories, he appears in Golden Age and Monster to Men, and he has done the um. She he she's done the uh done um she's done he's done the golden golden age and monsters and, and even the ghost of Hill Strange strangled angled uh Rupert Farm and the rat laughing and fish but He's shown up in Batman Animated Series, Young Justice, and The Batman. But never had been too much stories on him. Batman Prey it has Hugo Strange in it. Now, I want to point out something before we get into the plot of Prey. This, this is definitely Batman's first year because Cap Commissioner Gordon is captain at this point. And there's no Batman, no Robins, and no, um, no, uh, no, um, no Robins, and no, uh, no Batman family, as he has now. Just Batman on his own. And the Batmobile is being made. Alright, on to plot. So basically, Dr. Hugo Strange has a very sick obsession with Batman. Like, really sick. He even dressed up himself as Batman. And, um, he is, he doesn't tag Batman with, like, <laughs> with his, with physically, but mentally. First, he tags Batman by getting the mania attention saying how bad things about Batman, how messed up he is. Second, it makes the mayor hate Batman, and the mayor has to make the police hate Batman. Commissioner Gordon may not like, I mean, Captain Gordon may not like this, but he's doing his job, and a special task, task force is signed to take down vigilantes read by Max Court, and Hugo Strange gets Court to become this vigilante known as Knights, the Night Scourge. Night Scourge, he killed. He doesn't mind killing people. Also, Hugo Strange learns that Batman was became Batman because of his of his of a tragedy, and makes mannequins of um um mannequins of he makes makes mannequins of Bruce's Bruce's parents and. Um, and have a recording, um, recording, uh, recording, um, have recording of their voices and saying that, why did you let us die, Bruce? Why, why did you let us die and that sort of thing? So Batman has to face Hugo Strange, the Night Skirt, Scourge, Scourge. Orange, and and all everything has turned against them. This also includes Batman Prey, Hugo, the sequel to I mean Batman Terror, the sequel to um the sequel to uh to Batman um. Batman Prey. Now, here is Strange and is, uh, Hero Strange and has survived his fall off the, 
drive fall off the bridge and he wants revenge on Batman. So he gets help from the Scarecrow who has been afraid of Batman and is afraid to face him. So, and we also learn why the Scarecrow is what he is because he's been bullied, because he's all in himself afraid easily. So Hugo Strange gets Scarecrow's help and makes his fear of Tonkin better. And then, um, what happens is, um, is that, uh, he makes a Tonkin, and then Scarecrow was like, no way, I'm gonna be uh, doing this on my own. And he kills Hugo Strange. Then, um, <coughs> then Scarecrow, oh, does, captures Catwoman, blacksmiller, by taking, um, taking, uh, by taking pictures of her without her mask. And that sort of thing, and try to expose her identity, and turn against, turn against, um, turn against Batman, and, uh, he has to, um, he tries to face her, and then, um, then what else happens is he kidnaps his these boys from high school to and starts tormenting them. So Batman must go up against Scarecrow and take him down. Take him down. Well, I am not gonna reveal the ending. Well, I think that I recommend this book to anyone who's a fan of Hugo Strange. I like Hugo Strange. I wish they would do more or with him. He was pretty much the most awesomest character. With that being said, my in my review here.